actually two things, and we'll probably do it down the line, but her famous potato salad, but today we're doing the green bean salad. Now, if you've noticed a trend here, I've had the same basics. We have apple cider vinegar, olive oil, and salt and pepper, and of course the garlic. What's a Warosta family dinner without the garlic? So we're gonna have a lot of that garlic going for us. So pretty much of the staples that we have, but then the secret ingredient here is going to be the green beans. I did cheat, it is canned and it's French style. I already added the salt to it a little bit, like it comes with the salt. You can get no salt added or salt. I like salt, brings out the flavor. So we're gonna do one can of the green beans. We drained it a little bit. So now we're gonna add enough olive oil. I'd say for one can, maybe about a tablespoon, a little bit less than that. It's all for flavor. So that's what we're doing here. We have our apple cider vinegar. This is a must have. Don't do distilled vinegar, the white vinegar. Don't do red vinegar. It's gotta be that apple cider. I think it has a little bit of that sweetness to it because we're not putting sugar in there. Granted, this is acidic. So now we're gonna do, let's do a little bit of extra salt. We're gonna do a dash of this, just a little bit. Again, pops out the flavor because the green beans are already salted. Now I like pepper. I think this also adds a flavor. So we're gonna do some cr crushed red, or not red pepper. We can add crushed red pepper if I'm feeling lazy a little bit at home, I will do that. And I'll also put in some pre-dried garlic. Depends, you know, because uh, I think peeling garlic is a chore. So we don't do that all the time, but the real Oma recipe has that garlic. So we are gonna smash it a little bit here. We're gonna crush it. Take some energy, and this is good for the kids to do at home, right? Until they complain and they don't wanna do it anymore, then mom has to step in. So we're gonna do three cloves. I like garlic, no shortage of that. And we're just gonna scrape that off a little bit and we'll probably do it again. Again, what's a mess in the kitchen without making a mess, right? Okay, so we're gonna add that. Let's scrape this here and try that once more. I need a better garlic press. I've never been a fan of this one. But this is what I found in the store one day. So that's what we're gonna do here. Usually I hand chop too. Again, a big hand chopper. So big chunks of garlic. We're just gonna mix that all together. Now, the, one of the secrets I like to do here is also like to put it in the fridge, cool it down a little bit. Uh, you get that real salad chill going on, just like you would for a green salad. Shred it up. Okay, so we're just gonna mix that taste for sure before you serve it. But before you wrap it up in the fridge, Grandma always put a little extra color of the black pepper right on top just to add a little bit of something to it. She would always do that with the potato salad, the cucumber salad. So we were like salad galore in the worst of household. And so that is the green bean salad. Not too much to it. Again, pretty much the staples that we have in the kitchen. I use all of this for pretty much everything that I cook. And I like to think it's healthy, right? You need some olive oil in your life. So green bean salad, go for it. Chill it in the fridge for maybe an hour before you serve it. So thanks for coming here for Home Hospitality with Heidi. But you